Yep. It's Birmingham. Welcome to Birmingham. Long time coming. Not been here for a decade. And uh, here we are. So just near where we've begun, you got Tokyo Toys with the uh, LGTV occupation flag and uh, that's what they think they look like when in fact they look like a, a man in a wig with big stubble and a big jaw and big broad shoulders. They're like, no, 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 I've, I've taken the estrogen, I, I look like that. And you're like, no, I'm sorry, you don't. And someone's put googly eyes on the gym people. Looks quite good actually, look at that. <laughs> There you go. Alright, here's the Apple store. We're on the main uh, pedestrian shopping drag. And the first thing I noticed was the very fetching anti-car ramming of peace. Anti-infidel car ramming of peace action. And uh, we're going to have to... We're going we're gonna to do it. We're just going to... There we go. There we go. And we're in. Uh-huh. Cannon Street is the side offshoot here. Some nice lighting through the trees. Little arcade on the left. The, the Burlington Arcade, it seems to be. I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, yeah, very different vibe. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's the Vigs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes, if I was showing this to children as well, I'd hide my face. Oh, that's who they are. I have, and I'm, I'm here to be the voice for the children. You should be ashamed of yourself showing that to children walking past, by the way, just so you know. And you should, you should be ashamed of yourself as well. Scumbags. See ya. The uh, visibility is extremely good today. It's about 16 degrees. A very heavy police presence in the city centre. We're at Lower Temple Street, Temple Street, and uh, the main drag we've been on is, of course, New Street. I should have figured that out arriving at Birmingham New Street train station, and this was the first street. But, you know, it was a bit earlier in the day. I hadn't had my coffee yet. Well, very kind of uh, Saint-Tropez vibes now. You've got some slightly different architectura with the Union Jack bunting and the palm trees. Look at that. I could be in Cornwall. South Coast, Isle of Wight, but no. It's Bir Birmingham, Britain's favourite accent. Br Brumme, Brumoid, Bog the Brum, B Birmingham, Birmingham. We're going to try and interview some locals later, see how they speak, see uh, if we can find out why why they speak the way they do on New Street. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. This is uh, the Jive Aces. The, the, the... You guys are doing a drug so drug song. A drug song. Truth about drugs. All right. Good stuff. Thank you. Where am I from? Everyone asks me that. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I'm foreign. I am foreign. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm not from here. I'm half Brazilian, half Scottish. Yeah. Thank you. Ginada, amigo. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Scott Zillion. Thank you. All right. Um, I uh, got frustrated there. I, I had a bit of a emotional moment. Say, so I try and interact with people, and I get interrogated immediately as to where I'm from. I bet they don't do that with African or Asian or Southeast Asian people. Can you imagine? Your name is Abdul Khan, and before anyone interacts with you, they have to establish where you're from. Anyway, look at this. How beautiful is that? It's got a town hall vibe going on here. It's like, musician, could you turn it down a bit, please, mate? Just turn it down. But, um... Whoa! Whoa, it's nice here. City Center, public realm. This building is an absolute unit. The detail and the mosaic at the top there is like, hello. Hello, there's the mosaic. Oh, yeah. Strange wrapped up bag of body. And there's the sun. Wow, it copes well, but 
body man here. Don't know what he's about. So this is the main drag, Chamberlain Square. Coming to the entrance of the town hall. City hall. Why don't we name them city halls like the Americans do when we're in a city? Victoria Square. You know, it's, uh, it's nice to see it so busy outside the immediate main drag. I mean, uh, I have a critique. A critique of Manchester is that you come out of Piccadilly or Market Street and it instantly goes quiet. Here it's uh, maintained a bit of a busyness, which is good. Big city vibes, baby. Big city vibos. So here's the monument thing. I just want to give you guys... Just a slight five times zoom on some of the nicer bits in this square. Like, oh yeah, baby. Ignore the scaffolds, ignore all that. Ignore my fast panning. It's ve very good, very nice. And uh, let's, let's go wide angle. There you go. Plato's cave, reflection on a uh, corporate glass and metal building. Look at that. Wow, wow, we were. Paradise security. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are shitty. She's getting crowned. Look, st stand here to be crowned. King for the day. Okay. So we come out of paradise. And uh, it's nice where everything is new to me. You got your Union Jack. There's some weird old. Let me try and get over this plasticky thing. Well, anyway, that's where we're going. So we'll do it live together, ladies and gents. We will come around the corner together. We'll have a look at this architecture. We'll see Silverman. This Silverman. Oh, here's some more uh, anti-car ramming of uh, peace barrieros. And, uh, oh, they're a bit Russophobic here. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Imagine you're Russian. Imagine you're Russian and you come down here and you're like, what? I'm just Sergei. Sergei looking for a better life. And like, apparently I'm a terrorist now. I guess Russians are the new... Are we allowed to say it? Russians are the new... I'll let you guys fill it in. So you got Putin, and you've got, look at that. So just uh, in the center of Birmingham, there's M Memorial Hall. It's like a little uh, mausoleum type thing here. Very, uh, a lot of remembrance for uh, the fallen soldiers of the various conflicts Britain has been involved in. There's Memorial Hall we've just been in. Here's some happy African Christians. HSBC headquarters behind. And we continue. We, we leave behind the uh, Russophobic Ukrainian Slavas. And there's a library. Here's a Birmingham Central Library in a very fetching Ukrainian color again. This is Gillian Waring, the lady she made art in 2014. It's called A Real Birmingham Family. And by real, they mean obviously both parents are female. Hey, at least she's pregnant, but look at that. Who needs men? Because sisters are doing it for themselves. Ain't that right, Leanne? So I was wondering, why is everything blue and yellow like Ukraine? And of course, it's the, Euro it, whoa. <laughs> it's the Eurovision being hosted in Liverpool, just up the road. And of course... You know, because it's all political now. It's all about hating Russia and uh, making sure Zelensky's got another five billion uh, dollars of uh, high, highly advanced weaponry. As popular war advances, peace is closer. Yeah, Eurovision! Woo! So uh, it's all getting a bit corporate. Here's the, uh, the ICC won't let me be, so let me be me, so let me see. They tried to shut me down on MTV, and this is the ICC for me. Yeah, it's the International Conference Center. I don't know why I started singing 
I can't sing. It's just nerves. It's just the tism. It's just the bullshit. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, the... Uh, it's still that kind of 20th century post-war, post-Vietnam War, post-all wars where they're like anti-aesthetic. And we're seeing the hiccup of anti-aestheticism. It left the world of architecture and now it's in individuals. Um, there's a certain type of person who uh, makes ugliness. And I am fat and ugly. I will accentuate that as a fight. It's a rebellion against aesthetics. And that's what postmodern brutalism was. And that's why you get absolute fat slug people going around in weird baby blue Hello Kitty outfits. I, 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 what am I saying? Just, just cut, just cut. All right, we're going in. The ICC, here we are. Wow. Ran random bag search, not allowed. Well, I've uh, lost the will to, uh, to admire beauty coming in here, so I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna go out. Before we do go out, Her Herbalife is having a conference here. This is the multi-level marketing scam, the cult. Look at, look, look at the Her Herbalife, Herbalife. Buy, buy a 500 pound pack to get started and uh, destroy your social capital by trying to get your friends to buy shitty supplement packs. And guess who wins? The big bosses at the top of the pyramid scheme of Herbalife, they win. Just don't, don't do it guys, just don't do it. Pyramid scheme, scam, you're a scam. So uh, came out of the other end of the ICC. It's a little bit boaty, a bit boat people. <laughs> Very nice. Well, this immediate shot. You got Birmingham lads out having a few beers. Go on, Birmingham lads. Go on, lads. <laughs> he thinks I'm an American. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> Yeah, you'd all be speaking German, you fucking losers. Oh. Hey. Hey. How, how did it go in Dunkirk, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want. He's a cool guy. Anyway, we support you, horseman. I'm going to give you some money for your engagement. Good luck. So the award for the best looking pigeon of all the cities is taken by Birmingham. Look at this boy. Look at the marbling. Look at that. We've been down there. And uh, this way, the car barrier of peace is open. Open for business. On you go. Nothing bad can happen, surely. Oh God, big crowds. Big crowds, we'll figure it out. Oh, it's a beatboxer. He's not as good as my Syrian boy from Manchester. Syrian boy in Manchester absolutely mogs this guy. Oh, he's okay. He's got a few. He's doing his best. Well, there you go. There's some crazy stuff down here. I see a big green tent. Oh. And uh, I think it's going to be some muzzy propaganda. Please join us, please, please, we've got the truth. Okay, it says Allah has created you all from water. What about the 20% that's not water? The body is from falling into that doesn't matter, even though it is matter. <laughs> so we've passed uh, the Muslim uh, green tent and now you've got the white tent of the Christians. Again, it's all a bit try hard. There is uh, literally no truth outside yourself, but, but there you go. And then you got a little flag here with some medals. What's that? Medals. Hello, medal man. And what the hell is this? This is another, another pedestrian street. What have we got here? Excuse me. You tried to ruin my video dressed like that. <laughs> She's all shy now. She was uh, jumping on me from behind and uh, yeah. Good joke, good joke. I remember this place. We are near the bull ring. I think there's like a a, a thingy with a chrome shields on it over there, I think. Yeah, they named the big uh, shopping area here in uh, Birmingham. They named it Bull Ring because bullshit didn't sit very well with the tourists. 
And speaking of bullshit, there's there's the big bull himself. Yeah, coming down the hill. Very large church in front of us. Lovely blue skies. Look at that. Where's the clouds? Where is the geo engineering? Not today, Mr. Gates. Not today, Mr. G. Soros. Let me see. Let's name one more. Always good in threes. Not today, Klaus Schwab. So, oh shit. It looked a lot more impressive years ago. Now it just looks really tacky. That there is the ball. Look at that. Boring. Wow, that, that's uh, late 20th century, early 21st century top of architecture. Put a few uh, silver buttons on it. Boom. Futuristic or dated futurism, already dated. When you try and be futuristic, you create a new style called retro futurism, what the past used to think of the future. And it always gets it wrong, always. And we're just looking out into the distance at, uh, there's a big abandoned car parky gray site over there. And I think down there you've got Birmingham Moore Street Station. In fact, I know you do. Just under there. You know, you go around South America, you go to the Middle East, you go to Asia. People love hanging out, hang out in the street, hang outside their house, hang outside the shopping area. But here in Britain, it's not so much that people hang out, it's that they are busy going, you know, with fervor from one, from one shopping experience to their next retail experience. It's literally moving as quickly as they can to the next retail experience. There is no loitering, there's no hanging out. And so, instead of having a city center, you have a kind of like a, a kind of Formula One track so that people, you know, to your next shopping experience, you no, know, who needs trees? Trees only get in the way of the bovine homo sapiens being herded quickly to their next retail extravaganza. Z zero trees, zero trees. Foliage for fools. Oh wow, it's the black Hebrews or the black Israelites, hyper racist black men who believe that Africans are the real Jews. Well, this is, this, let's just enjoy the madness for a bit. Slowly exit the, the craziness. Don't turn your back on them. Just slowly reverse out. You understand? And all nations of people round about that time. We slowly walk away. We don't turn our back. You can turn your back on a friend, but you can never turn your back on a group of crazy, crazy, crazy people. Birmingham Cathedral. Down the side of the Birmingham Cathedral. You all had a look inside. We're on a mission to find the jewelry quarter or the jewel quarter. We'll get there. We'll get lost first. It's always better to get lost. We'll try this away. <laughs> Bus is going to Dudley. 12A to Do Dudley. Dudley. And I just want to show you guys the high technology that the, the Brummies have that the Manx don't have, the Mancunians in Manchester do not have such dot matrix display bus times like this. You gotta go in your phone where here they actually tell you. Very good. What's this way? Let's go and have a look this way. Yep, anyway, good restoration job on this lovely, lovely sandstone at the Grand Hotel. 
a lot of buskers. If I only could make a deal with God. I think it's Christian rock playing in the background. There they are. I have stumbled across some 1990s corporate Canary Wharf one at Birmingham Snow Hill. No snow, no show, baby. And uh, yeah, again, where's the trees, guys? Anyone see any trees? Any trees? Anyone? Trees? Is that a tree down there? Any trees? There must be a tree down there. We'll go find one. It appears this is the headquarters, well, the Birmingham headquarters for KPMG, which is an accountancy firm, I think. And uh, their building is on oh, the BT. Oh, I think I'm going to get, I just got a feeling they're not going to appreciate photon gatherers down there. That's what I feel like. A little bow boy. Very warm. There's a couple of craft ale enthusiasts. You know, fat guys with big beards always wear shorts so that you can see their leg tattoos. IPA drinkers. You know the type. Often found working in a tattoo parlor or a piercing place. Or if not, they work in a vape shop. And yep, they do vape. All right, we've come to the end. Nobody cares about the photon man. And I hope there's a way out here. We're at the end of the tramway and we gotta go that way. Okay, I'm just gonna say one thing. Um, I don't believe this exists in the way that these people believe it exists. I think this is uh, nothing but grooming and danger, a danger to children. Um, the mental health challenges behind that are extremely powerful and have the highest suicide rate of any disease. And I just don't feel right about trying to say that little young people who can't even choose what pair of pajamas they're gonna wear to go to sleep, suddenly you're like, yeah, um, do life-changing injuries to yourself. That, that'll sort you out. No! Um, I hate to be Mr. Randy Pan, the logic and words have meaning man. <laughs> The Royal on uh, Cornwall Street. Looks very nice. Very nice building. Very pretty. Over the motorway. And this way, over the tunnel. We are approaching the BT Tower. Not the one in London, baby. But the Brummie one. And uh, while we're up here, having a bird's eye view. Oh, hello. Golf Type R. The 911 killer. Porsche 911 killer, just to, don't get political on me. Um, I just want to say, Birmingham feels a lot more urban and massive than Manchester. I mean, uh, I've been to Birmingham a few times before, but never, not recently, with the aim to do a, a tour for my viewers. And while I'm doing it, today, it feels like the bigger metropolis. So if we were to argue which is Britain's second city, obviously London is quite obviously the first city of Britain. Um, it's probably Birmingham, isn't it, boys? Probably Birmingham and not Manchester. It's more of a big city here in Birmingham. Oh, Brummie. And check out the, the razor wire across there. Mm-mm-mm. I walked past and I uh, was like, do I smell semen? Anyone else notice some trees and bushes smell like spunk? Like really strong, like, oh, ball sack. Okay, all welcome to St. Paul's Square in the jewelry quarter. Now, if I don't see some diamond merchants to have a nice geopolitical argument with, I'm gonna get very upset. I mean, we are in the jewelry quarter. I don't see any jewelry. Okay, we've left St. Paul's Square. We're coming up Caroline Street. I feel the uh, rent and the property costs around here are maybe a little bit higher than uh, the immediate center of Birmingham. Okay, we're getting there. 
Balsack private parking. We're almost here, ladies and gents, in the oh, School of Master Jewelers, it says. And uh, yeah, we're coming up to the main drag of the jewelry quarter. I don't know what to expect or what I'm hoping to bring to my darling viewers, but we'll bring something. Like, uh, first of all, a personalized license plate. Okay, viewers, has he got his MOT? Is he up to date? Has he paid his road tax? Yeah, here we are. The bullion room, we buy jewelry, di diamond dealer. We pay top rates for gold, Marlowe diamonds, diamond quarter, special engagement and wedding jewelers, diamond people, JM jewelry. So I'm, I'm glad there was some jewelry stores here in the jewelry quarter. Otherwise I'd be like, where's my Jews at? Sorry, where's my jewelry at? So I stuck around in the heart of the jewelry quarter for five whole minutes, hoping to bring my viewers a live armed robbery and uh, getaway car. But no, we'll go and look at something else. Bye bye, jewelry quarter. The address was Warstone Lane. You want to get a blood diamond from Sierra Leone? A, a, a Civil War diamond? Blood diamond? Warstone Lane. Oh, how the Matrix has a sense of humor. This is the Ramgarhia Sikh temple. Sikh, and you will find they, they love these bright orange flags. They're really into uh, shock orange. But Sikh, and you will find, and have my viewers ever met a Sikh they didn't like? They're usually quite nice people, really. Really, they are. Hey, check this out, guys. It's like the back of a TV and video. Hello, how are you? BBC, ITV, anything fun like that? Yes. It'll be ITV eventually. ITV eventually. Yeah. Nice. Lovely day for it though, isn't it? So this guy here. He's uh he's not not a police car. No, not allowed. Well he gave me the smile and the wave, so yeah, good, good, fair play to him. Hi guys, I'd like to report a crime. Are you police? Are you cops? You're not cops? Oh, God damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> not allowed certification. Birmingham, yes. Absolutely. The amount of times I almost die in the pedestrian zones in Manchester. Because the electric bike delivery people, Deliveroo, Uber Eats, but not here in Birmingham land. Here in Birmingham, Birmingham land, they know. Not allowed! Not allowed, sir! Yeah, thank you. The water is so reflective, it looks like liquid crystal or chrome. T-1000 is going to rise up out of it and kill Sarah Connor. But here's the, the malt house and the wee bridge. National Sea Life, Birmingham. You want to go stroke a st stingray? Steve Irwin wouldn't recommend it, but you can have a go. Canal and River Trust, and I'm seeing that there is some movement of water. I don't know if they've got some pumps or, or what's going on, but there you go. Canal Birmingham. Doesn't everything just look wonderful in the sun? Okay, all welcome to Brindley Place. People playing ping pong, fountains, children, families, teenagers, elderly, all having a lovely time. That's all good, very wholesome. And we're going to go towards, we're going to go towards Council House Town Hall. Council House, mate! Museum Art Gallery, yeah. Well, we'll go down there. We'll go have a look. See what we've got. Oh, there's a lot of guys wearing Stone Island. I am in Normie Central. Pitcher and piano. Slug and lettuce. The Alchemist. And of course, all bar ones, all your most famous normie drinking brands in one square. We're having a hand night, hand, stag do hand night. Hey, how are you? Getting married? Getting married? Nothing wrong with getting married, but um, that you just know they're gonna and uh, do something behind the fiance's back. You just know it. This is pretty cool. You can rent a boat with a table. Behind me, you've got all the eager 
wannabe millionaires, entrepreneur wannabes here for the herbal life, herbal life, multi-level marketing, cult, scam, pyramid scheme. We touched upon it briefly, but the way it works is a company will set up and every individual self-employed sales rep will have to invest because you've got to invest in your future. A hundred pounds, 500 pounds, a thousand pounds to buy the starter pack. And then your job is to then try and push those products, supplements, hand cream, soap, the Avon lady, onto your friends and family, piss everyone off. But the big money is in hiring new people. It's all about getting new people on board because then you sell them the 500 pound starter pack, you get a commission. And who wins? The big daddy at the top of Herbalife, the cap of the pyramid, the Pharaoh himself. He, how dare you? I'm joking. <laughs> the Pharaoh himself, he wins. Well, we've just come outside. I'm very happy to see not one, but two ambulances because there's a thousand people behind me in the new sudden, uh, sudden cardiac, cardiac, cardiac issue. There's going to be at least two or three people needing ventribulation. Sorry, ventri, <laughs> what the? Defibrillation, Charlie. Backstage. Oh, hi. What? Oh, of course I can do. Don't you tell me what to do, bro. If you, if you pull this into me, I will make it sure that you regret it. If you try and push this into me. Yeah, I think you better uh, work on your uh, politeness now, my friend. I did say please, I did say please move back here. Please, whilst you push the metal barrier into me. He did, okay. uh, he did ask you, he did ask you. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on doing what I was doing. None of your business, you, mate. Sir. Yeah, fuck you. Oh my God, what the hell is even that? So just a quick pan round for you to see the Eurovision crowds here in central Birmingham. They love it. <laughs> I love the irony of the guy trying to tell me off for filming when number nine of the terms and conditions, you arrive, you will be filmed. <laughs> All good, mate. How are you? They've all come to me because the guy I told to F off has radioed me as a dangerous individual, which is hilarious. Anywho, they're bored. They can Jason Bourne on me all they want. Okay, doing a little social experiment here. I'm just uh, next to the, the, the rep coffee boy. It's a little van. And I just want to see if they're if the yellow jackets are looking for me and how they'll react if they think they've lost me. We'll see. Here they are, they're looking for me, they're looking for me. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we are. There they are. What's up, big boys? There's more man snitching me. There he is. So give us a cheer. Who's going to be there at the Birmingham Festival 2023? Uh, not me. I won't be there. Oh my God. What the hell is even that? What is, what is it? What is that? Um, that Mommy, I'm scared. Festival vibe. It's Eurovision for Ukraine this year. Oh, it's a Ukrainian on the screen. He's saying thank you. You're, you're welcome. My name is Vlad, and I am Vlad Yaremchuk. Some of the Ukrainian music that Vlad was talking about. So are you ready to party, Birmingham? I can see some of you over here. Uh, what about some of you big kids over there? Are you ready to party, Birmingham? Oh, God, yeah. All right, well, get your dancing shoes on. Get ready to go wild. I'll see you out there at the front. But make some noise for Big Fish Little Fish. Are you following me? No. All right. Well, don't make it feel like I like you are. All right. Don't do it. You're not following me. Stop following me, mate. Stop doing it. 
You got called out, mate. So the guy who's not following me is, is still following me. <laughs> so we're slowly gonna walk away, but I just wanted to make a comment here that when you're being followed by a bunch of people who aren't, and I'll, I'll assume here, they might, they might be born and bred in Britain, but by a bunch of people in uniform who are not native to England, to the country you're in. It can feel like a foreign occupation. What next? North Korean soldiers on the Chinese UN troops. What next? It just gives it that weird post-apocalyptic vibe when you have people of a alien culture, and I say that in the literal sense, from a foreign culture, controlling your behavior in public in England. Ooh la la. Check this out. The Abraham Peace Accord is here. You've got the Priesto and the Mullah. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna come together and fight the forces of LGTV 4K plus. <laughs> So, can you see the smoke? There is a big fire currently happening in Saltley, here in Birmingham. And uh, the smoke is drifting across the sky. Can you see that discoloration there? That is, I've just checked on the news, breaking news, a big ass fire in Saltley and it has uh, wrecked the blue sky. So, back at the town hall, have you guys seen this shit? CPC security, CPC security. First of all, you got your solar panel. Very nice, very good for uh, Greta Thunberg, the Swedish doom goblin. But what have we got here? We've got remote monitored CCTV, priority police response. Oh, I get it, I get it. Because they're a corporation and uh, they're a company and not just peasants, they will get a priority police response here to the city center public realm. I think it's time to go back down New Street and see what exciting, amazing children of God we can find. Uh, just cycle through the crowds. What can go wrong? It's not like there's babies and toddlers. Just, just cycle through. Still to find a city in England without a Piccadilly. Here's Birmingham's Piccad Piccadilly. Because uh, London had it, the circus. Manchester had it, the square, cracky gardens. And Birmingham's is a, an arcade, a, a mall. All right. Uh, inflatable man. Jesus. And the queue outside, what's it called? No, it's not a brow bar, it's uh, Marco Benito. And uh, they're, they're having a great, there's Tyson Fury himself getting ready to go in. I'm an absolute sucker. <laughs> Full stop. No, I'm an absolute sucker for uh, interesting architectural mixes, hybrids. And here they've added a glass ceiling to an old traditional Edwardian or Victorian outdoor area, making it all indoors. And you go downstairs to the Burlington Hotel, and uh, we're not. Oh no, you can go in there to the... But anyway, I, I, I liked it. I thought it was nice. Look how it used to be. This is Crockett and Jones, Northampton, England, shoemakers since 1879. If I was to take a guess, I'd say this photo was taken around 1900. And uh, there you go, there's my evidence. And uh, I'd say this one again, judging by the hairstyles, the mustaches, around 1900. Bye. Ladies and gents, buy Android instead. Thank you. Hello, sir, how are you? I work for Android, it's nothing personal. Buy Android! Further along New Street, back towards the Ring of the Bull. Bull Ring. Hello, mate. How are you? All good. Thank you. Okay, here we go. First cop action of Birmingham. Here we go. <laughs> my daughter, my, my god. Is that your daughter? My god. Your god. <laughs> How are you all anyway? This is all very wholesome. All very <laughs> Thank you guys. 
Can you undo um can you do ta ta na 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 I can't afford it. Cost of living crisis and everything. But anyway, ta -ta -na -na -na. oh my! I've just read. Oh my God! I've just read the sign. Anyway, God bless you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, thank you. Anyway, God bless you all. Thank you. Take care. He's uh, raising money for his sick wife. Thank you. Good bless you. This man's about to take off. You're watching the Charlie Beach show. Thank you, mate. All the best. Take care. Take care. Yeah. Look at this bro's brought his own crucifix. That's commitment. All right, I've come through the wrong side of the car ramming of peace barriers, and I think uh, we're entering the cheaper end of uh, of uh, Brummy, Birmingham. That is my vibe. There's just a slight change in demographic, in uh, social class, in type of uh, establishments, renting, even in architecture. Anyway, I'll, I'll shut up now. No, I won't. Can't help narrating. Can't help it. Nervous twitch. Two rets of the narration. <laughs> Bit of a smashy smashy. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I was right. It's a slightly cheaper end of uh, Birmingham. I think there's a the centerpiece up ahead. There's a B and M bargains. The kind of uh, retarded little brother of Walmart. If you want to have an idea of what kind of stuff it sells, it sells everything. As a resident of Salford. Knowing Salford Central, <laughs> knowing Walkden, knowing Little Holton, knowing Tildesley, knowing all, all the areas, all, knowing Farnworth, Failsworth, Bolton. This sort of architecture and this sort of uh, encampment, used to it, been there, completed it, got the cheats, tried on nightmare mode, still completed it. Cash generator, eh? where you take your burgled items. Sorry, if you're American, you're burglarized. What a weird word, B burglarize. It's to burgle. You burgle a house, you don't burgle. Anyway, you take it to cash generator, you get your cash and uh, that's how the sorry system works. <laughs> Ahem, uh, the internet does not lie. It's important to do the beauty rankings uh, between Liverpool, Manchester and Birmingham. I would say that Liverpool has the most beautiful buildings that are intact. Manchester comes second. And uh, poor Birmingham, probably because it's closer to Germany, I think they, the Nazis bombed a lot more of the traditional buildings here in Birmingham. But it's still got a few, it's still got a few nice things. Okay guys and girls, straight down there is the law courts and it's a Saturday today, so there will be no drama. There will be no board security shouting not allowed and saying it's court property. So we'll just do a little drive, a little walk by, look, have a gander. And oh look, nice red building, very nice. Oh look, some more nice buildings, oh look. And uh, Central Hall, uh, we're gonna start filming again when we get there. Ambulance intro to, this is stunning, it's the Magistrates Court. And again, being a Saturday, no drama llama. <laughs> no laka alpaca. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Here we go. The Birmingham Magistrates Court. Forward, it says. And a very nice doorway as well. There you go. Look at that. If you like red, you like this building. And across from the Magistrates Central Hall, wow, it looks good against the blue sky, is totally a bando. Shut down. What a pity. What a nice building. But, uh, don't know what's wrong with it. Probably needs a lot of work done. Well, that's random. You come around the corner and you stumble across Birmingham's Children Hospital. All right, children, get well soon. The view along Newton Street, we come round. Royal Angus on the right. I think that's the Wesleyan. We're gonna try and find a pyramid there in a second. Fountain Court, old building, and back towards the Children's Hospital. Another bus to Dudley, Dudley. And I was right, yes, there is a big inverted pyramid at the top of Wesleyan, much like you have the glass inverted pyramid at the bottom of the Louvre Museum Art Gallery in uh, Gay Paris. 
and uh, I almost got a job with Wesleyan. They're a financial services company, financial advisors. Uh, started out as some like Christian, I think John Wesleyan, John Wesley, super Christian type thing. But they're uh, fully on the pyramids. Look, even a few little uh, corporate roundabout triangles there. Very nice. Beautiful. We're just going to get a bit closer because I feel nostalgia for the late 90s uh, corporate architecture. It's so ugly. It's like the, the last days of brutalism and uh, it's, uh, it makes me smile. And uh, are any fishies? Any fish? Any goldfish? No? No life? No life. It's a corporate roundabout. Why would there be life? But uh, again, it's all the kind of orange marble Wesleyan Assurance Society this head office blah 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 oh my god I just want to get a date for you guys March 1992 oh inverted pyramid leads to the what's it called the uh, the pituit no what's it the gland in your head the acorn pituit pitu is it the pituit ah, Look at this 90s monstrosity. Okay, viewers, this is the Great Western Arcade. And I just wanted to show you the bunting of the King Charles Coronation. Let's see if I can hold it steady, make it feel like a movie. Almost. 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 All right, here's the, this car here. I affectionately call it the Jewmobile. Very popular with the Jewish community in Manchester because it's like a eight seater. And uh, Jewish people love to go forth and procreate as is commanded in the Torah. Where am I going with this? I'm just ranting now. So we've done Birmingham over about five hours, five, six hours running around, having a look. And uh, first of all, the criticisms. Again, the culture of hanging out on the street seems to have been taken over by crackheads and drunks. You just don't get ordinary people having nice times out on the street, no families. And uh, the demographics as well here, it's globo homo, it's global homogeneity. It's the same as any other city. It's investment banks by the Chinese. It's uh, offshore funds by the Koreans. It's... Uh, Saudi Arabian property magnates buying up buy to lets. You know, they, they said multiculturalism would be our strength, but it creates small pocket ghettos. And no one likes pocket ghettos. You want one strong, big, unified culture. And there's too many competing cultures. No one trusts anyone. There is a old traditional Birmingham. I've seen pockets of it here and there. I've chatted to a couple of Brummies. But ultimately, it's global mega city number one. It's aircraft carrier number three, or number two if you don't think Manchester's number two. And uh, yeah, it's only an hour and a bit from Manchester, so I've not come very far. But it feels like a, how do I put this? It's the same shit in a different layout. This is Charlie Veach from Birmingham City Centre on Corporation Street. Thanks for watching.